Hello, uh, my dear YouTuber friends, and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video, which is about setting up drone controls on your Velocity 1. So you can do things like moving your view up and down, increasing the drone translation speed, moving forwards and backwards, side to side, yawing left and right, and pitching up and down, all on the Velocity 1. So there's no need to reach for an external controller to use your drone views. As you can see, it works beautifully. Okay, so let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with this video. Okay, so we're going to start off in options, so press your corresponding button on PC or Xbox to get to get to options and go to control options. Now with this video I'm taking off from my autopilot video, I'm, obviously I'm on PC at the moment but this will work on Xbox as well. The PC has the yoke part, it will come up and the throttle quadrant separate. Like I said, I'm, I'm taking off from the autopilot video I did, I, I'll link that in the top right for you. Things like Engaging, autopilot, heading hold, vertical speed, and nav one. Go and watch that video if you want to find out more. What I'm going to do while I'm on the throttle quadrant, I'm going to want to set up one of these buttons for my drone camera. It's actually in camera mode switches. So open your camera menu and go to camera mode switches. Now, I better mention this before I move on. I've changed my cockpit and external, toggle cockpit and external button to button A, I'll show you where that is on screen. On my throttle quadrant, because I moved it from my right bumper for a reason, and I'll talk about that later. Okay, so while we're in camera mode switches, while that's open, I'm gonna change the filter to all. And we want toggle drone. So I'll show you what, what button I want to assign for, for myself to, to toggle the drone camera. So I'm going to click in this box here, click in start scanning and press the corresponding button, which is button 4 on the throttle quadrant on PC, and validate. And we'll apply and save that. So that's all I want to set up so far on the throttle quadrant. Now let's move to the yoke part, which is where we're going to do the majority of the settings. If you're on Xbox, this will just be one box. Just be aware if you're on PC, I've now moved to the yoke section. And again, I'm going to go to camera and drone camera. And while the filter is still on all, ensure it's on all. Let's set up some basic controls. I want to set up translate drone left, right, forward and backwards. And I'm going to use my POV2 for this like the hat switch it looks like a hat switch on the right handle POV2 show you a picture of that on screen of course so we want let's do translate drone right for now click in the box click and start scanning and move that POV switch right and it says it's already assigned to cockpit look right and external view look right. Don't worry if you're in drone camera, these won't matter. So we can validate that and apply and save. Translate drone left. So again, click in the box. Click and start scanning. And move your PLV switch, hat switch left. And there we go. And again, cockpit look left and external view look left. Don't worry about them. If you're in drone camera mode, these won't trigger. Validate. And we also want translate drone forward. So I'm going to click in the box. Click and start scanning. Move the PLV hat switch up forward. And again, don't worry about these other bindings. Validate. And apply and save. We might as well. And translate drone backwards. Click in the box. Click and start scanning. Puff switch to down or backwards. And don't worry about these other bindings like I've mentioned before. Validate 
and apply and save. There's a couple of other settings I want to set up here and we'll give these a try just to see if these work. I want to do translate drone uh, drone translation speed uh, increase and decrease so increase drone translation speed now this is why I've moved my cockpit and external toggle view off the bumper button because I'm, I'm going to use my right bumper button I'll show you a picture of where that is on screen just for reference to increase drone translation speed so click in the box click and start scanning press my right bumper and validate and apply and save and similarly we want to decrease drone translation speed with the left bumper button you can put these where you want to I just find these suit well so click in the box click start scanning and left bumper validate and apply and save let's go to the sim I'm actually gonna have to reset my drone camera there Whilst I've got it reset, I'm just going to press that button I set up for drone view to switch to drone view, and it switched straight back to cockpit view. So I'm in cockpit view now. If I want to go external, it acts like normal. Let's get back in the cockpit. Let's press the button to switch to drone camera. And now, if I use my PLV forward, backwards, this is what we've set up so far, left and right. You can see it works. And if I want to increase the speed of the drone, there you go. I'm just holding down my right bumper. You can see it's increased. If I want to de decrease that speed, holding down my left bumper. If you hold it down long enough, it will stop the drone camera moving. But hold it down, you can see it's decreasing. So that's all fine. So let's move on with more settings. Okay, so we're back in options and we'll try and do the rest of them in one hit. Go to control options. Ensure if you're on PC, you've got the yoke part of the Velocity 1 showing here, not the throttle. Go to your camera, open that menu, and open drone camera, and then put your filter to all. So it's showing all the possible things we can set up. We've got forward, backwards, left and right. We want to actually translate our drone up and down as well to have those available. And I'm going to use my hat too on my right handle. I'll show you a picture of where that is on screen. I've got uh, vertical speed set to that. If you're in drone view, it doesn't affect vertical speed. And I'll show you that later. So I'm going to click on translate drone up. And I'm going to start scanning here. Click start scanning. I move my hat to up. It's, I told you, it's, it's already uh, assigned to increase autopilot reference vertical speed. It won't affect that binding, so don't worry. Validate and apply and save. Translate drone down. Not, make sure you don't go lockable. Make sure it's the one underneath it. Translate drone down. Click in the box. Click and start scanning. And move your hat to down. And don't worry about that other binding, like I've already mentioned. Validate and apply and save. This is where it suits me. You can put them wherever you like. I'm just showing you how to set them up. What we want to do now is actually pitch our view. So your drone right and left will just, just move our view left and right without moving the drone. I'll show you what that does in a, in a second. I'm going to use now my PLV1 switch for this, or PLV hat switch 1 for this on the left handle. I'll show you a picture of where that is on screen. I'm going to use your, your drone right. Click in the box. Click and start scanning. Move the PLV1 right. Validate and apply and save. Your drone left. Click in the box. Click and start scanning and move your PLV left. PLV1 left. And again, don't worry about these other bindings. If you're in drone camera, it won't affect them. And validate and apply and save. And we want pitch drone view up and drone down. Pitch drone down. That will just move our view up and down. So we're going to click in the box here. Make sure pitch is up there. Pitch drone up is showing there. Scroll down to it. Click in the box here. Click and start scanning and use your PLV1. Move it up or down, whichever way you prefer, if you want it reversed. And validate. And pitch drone down. Click in the box. 
click and start scanning, move your PLV one down, and validate, and apply and save. Let's go and test these in the sim. So I'm in the cockpit mode, as you can see, as normal. Click my button to go to drone view. And if I move my hat 2 up, you can see my view, drone camera rather, moves up. If I move my PLV 1 left, right, up and down, you can see it pitches the view. And of course PLV 2, and with right button to increase the drone speed, will move the drone forward. And I can move the view up, move it forward, move my view, uh, your my view left or right. Or move my drone left or right with PLV2. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to now show you this in practice. I'll record it on my camera to show you how these settings work. I'll say, okay, so let's give you a practical view and demonstration of how these buttons work. Just grab my camera, press record, and off we go. So I'm going to press this button to switch to drone view. Now, whilst we're in that mode, bear with me for a second, I'm going to bring up the drone camera controls so you can see how the drone speed interacts there. So, if I move my POV2 forward, backwards, like, you, like I showed you before, left and right, you can see how that affects it. If I hold down my right bumper while doing that, and use my hat to, to move my view up, you can see how that works. If I use my hat, what a POV1 rather, I can yaw my view left and right, up or down. And let's go back to this POV button. Let's increase that speed. You can see the box there, how the speed is increasing. Let's move my view up. Go forward, find something of interest. A little town here will do. Use my POV1 to pitch my view down. As you can see, I mean, I'm doing this one-handed. I can even decrease the drone speed there by using my left bumper. And now you can see we're going slower. Let's increase it so we go a bit faster. There's a little town here or village or whatever. And I just want to get a closer look at that. So pitch my view down, go forward a bit. I can even come down in altitude if I want to. Pitch my view up a little bit. And there you go, you can see it works well. So there you go, that's how we set up drone views and controls on our Velocity 1. If the video's been helpful to you, I can hear something there, is it birds or <laughs> church bells? If it's been helpful to you, give the video a like, subscribe for more. I may do other videos on other controllers like the Holtas 1. It's going to be a little bit more complex, but I'll probably give that a go in the future. And I'll see you very soon.